and of sauces to your party. We sure would appreciate it. And good luck at the game from Speed and the Gang at Cookies Food Products. After trickling down through hundreds of feet of soil and compressed carbon, the water in this underground aquifer is pristine. Now you can have similar results right in your kitchen. A reverse osmosis water system from U.S. Filter will reduce impurities in your drinking water by up to 99%. Call U.S. Filter in Iowa City, Marion, and Maquoketa and ask about their four free sales. Call U.S. Filter. America's water store. We're water. Pure and simple. Get a good start on your Christmas shopping at John Wilson's for sports. John Wilson's has inline skates from Bauer and Rollerblade. Figure in high. More time from outside Kinnick Stadium. It's uh, the Bumper Brigade at Melrose Avenue and Melrose Place. I'm Tim Boyle. You can hear the roar of the crowd as the Hawk Seniors, 17 of those young fellas, will play for the last time for the uh, Iowa Hawks today. It's the annual battle for Floyd of Rosedale. The pig that's been in Iowa since 1992 when uh, Minnesota beat Iowa up in the Metrodome, preventing them from going to the Copper Bowl that year, as I recall. If the Hawks should win today, they might go that way, but it's called the Insight.com Bowl now in Tucson, Arizona. Many people expect the Hawks to get an invitation to the Sun Bowl should they win, but Ron Gonder, one of the three amigos, thinks they'll go somewhere else. So we'll find out as seven season from Kinnick Stadium. And the Hawks need a win for the season to continue. And as Hayden Fry says, 16 more practices and an early jump on next year. Here's the approach in the boot by Daly. And it's angling toward Dwight. He'll have a chance to return it at the 5. 10, 15, up the near sideline. 20, 25, 30. Cuts it to the near sideline. 40, 45, 50. And he just stepped out of bounds, nudged out of bounds at the 45-yard line. A great, great gap by the left side of that wedge that time. Oh, uh, that's a good way to get it started. And that's a smart job by the return team. Smart Minnesota in a 52 defense. In under center is Randy Reiners out of the eye. The Hawks come. Hand off to Tavian Banks. Went straight ahead. Now ducks it to the wide side of the field. He's at midfield. 45, 40, 35, and wrestled down. Hugged high at about the 30-yard line. A gain of 25 on the first play from scrimmage. Good job by Tavian Banks of seeing that the tire, that the end was coming down to take the trap blocker on, and there was nobody outside, so he bounced it outside. No outside leverage at all. And at the gopher 30-yard line. Minnesota's been better against the run this year, but still susceptible. Play action, fake the banks. Reiner straight back to pass, goes to the end zone, looking for Dwight. And just over led into the end zone as he ran a down-and-in pattern. And he had his man beat, Randy, like last week and like two weeks. Good call on first down, however. Second down, 10, the ball on the far side, hash mark. Knipper now switches from right to left at tight end. Receivers are right and left. Here's the fake on the give to the fullback. Banks runs over right guard and has five yards. The Hawkeyes will look at a third down and five situation. Approaching it, Hawks need to convert a third down five opportunity. Again, the ball on the far hash. Reiners fakes the give to Berger. Now to Banks, he gets to the outside, left tackle, and he's just shy of the first down. He'll be less than a yard shy of the first down, and I can't imagine that Hayden would not go for it from Northwestern comes up with a stop. Fifth play of the drive, Iowa goes for it on fourth down. The give is to Banks. He's got the first down inside the 20, down to the 19, almost the 18-yard line, running over right tackle. They just ran right over Jeremy McKinney's way, linebacker Sean Huffman. Real mobile like Williams is. Lavanzer Williams, who leads the Big Ten in sacks, got a piece of that tackle, but good blocking by Goff and McKinney. Banks on that toss pitch, sweep to the opposite side, comes back almost to the line of scrimmage, maybe got a yard trying the left side three or four in the backfield. So the blocking broke down. Hawks face their first second and long of the day at the Minnesota 17. Reiners rolls out to his right. Little quick uh, sweep pass to Timmy Dwight. He's inside the 10 down to the eight, nine yard line. He'll be very close to a first down. Just a little quick toss out to the wide receiver Dwight. Takes a step upfield, comes back a step or two, and then does it all on his own. Well, that's about a half a yard shy of the first down. Third down and a little less than a yard. Here's Robbie Tyne. Big hole over left guard. He's got the first down at the six-yard line. It'll be first and goal to Iowa. Sean Huffman, the linebacker on the stop. Uh, and the uh, defensive line for the Gophers just disappeared that time. Well, you know, it's three or four more on top of that. Hawks have first and goal on the initial drive of the ball game. First and ten, or first and goal at the six. Tyne starts right, cuts it back to the left, and he smells that goal line as he lunges forward just shy of the goal line inside the one that'll be a gain of five lamanzer williams the defensive end hop back but just a little bit so he kept his momentum going upfield twin tight ends dalton knipper on second down and goal here comes tyne he fights for that goal line he's going to be just shy 
got back to the line of scrimmage, maybe got a few inches, but he was denied the... Again, twin tight ends. Maybe a quarterback sneak. We'll see. Now, nope, they give us to Banks, and that play disintegrated from the get-go. The Reiners and Banks ran into each other at the three-yard line, and Crawford Jordan, the free safety, gets credit for the zone uh, if converted. And nobody needs to convert three points more than Zach Bromert, given the run he's been on or lack thereof the last couple of weeks. Here's the spot, the snap, the kick is right through, and the Hawkeyes draw first blood, leading 3-0 over Minnesota with 9.02 to go in the first quarter. Let's take a break. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield Sports. 10 and 1 for 2 inside the 20. Greg McLaughlin will kick, and look out. 2-2 Atwell and Tyrone Carter, the best in the Big Ten at returning kicks, are back deep. Running up underneath it is Atwell. He drops it at the 20. Now picks the ball up. He's hemmed in, heads for the far sideline. Still on his feet, gets up to the 26-yard line. That ball was... It wasn't pooch kick as much as it was into that wind. Paul, the fullback, and Byron Evans, the starting tailback. And here's the handoff and the give to Thomas Hamner, who starts the ball game at tailback. He gets very little. Still on that first series and scored. Looks like it was going to be easy, so Hawkeye fans don't get too happy too fast here. All right. Corey Sauter's back on play action. He's going to be sacked by Kramer. Jeff Kramer, the defensive end. Great downfield coverage by the Hawkeyes. And let me tell you that Plez Atkins and Matt Hughes have started on defense. And they did. This is club in a third down and 16 situation. Offset eye. Receivers are right and left. Atwell and Leverson. Here comes a blitz. Raj Clark on the blitz. And Souter just throws it into the cheap seats. Flags fly as Raj Clark lowered the boom on Corey Souter. So it's fourth down and 16. Rindle's kick will come from about his own 10. Dwight is back in single safety formation at his own 35. And here's the kick off the side of Rindle's foot. It's going to bounce out of bounds near midfield, actually the 45-yard line of Iowa. And listen to the crowd give it to, to Rindle's. But you know he got his instructions from Glenn Mason to lead the Big Ten in punt returns and set a Big Ten record. So they're going to hope he gets to handle it here today. He splits wide left now, shifts in motion, and will go to the slot on the right with Gibson wide right. Knipper the tight end also on the right, and the Hawks run left. Banks gets a good block, ducks it inside. Got a nice block at the point of attack from Pryor, but then tried to hurdle a lineman who had fallen down. Slotting to the left this uh, uh, this time with Tony Collins wide to the left. Here's a little swing pass to Banks coming out of the backfield. If he can get the corner turn, can't. Fumbles the ball. He's hit as he went down, and it's a live football, and Minnesota has the football inside the 15 down to the 13-yard line. It's Park Williams, the middle linebacker. Banks got hit as he was going down. The ball fell on the ground. Williams picked it up and ran it down. He almost took it in for the touchdown, but Randy Reiners, the quarterback, got back to knock him off his feet. Otherwise, it would have been a touchdown. As it is, it's a 32-yard return. Minnesota has it first and... Guys, Randy Reiners making that tackle. Now the crowd encouraging the defense on. Minnesota goes with twin tight ends. Play action, Sauter back to pass. Throws into the end zone, has a man, and he overthrew him. Out the back of the end zone, that's Leverson, Luke Leverson, the sophomore receiver from Miami, who coming into today has 28 catches. Uh, no question. He really has. Hall is the fullback, Hamner the tailback, and the offset eye. Receivers right and left, the handoff to Hamner, and he gets only one or two. Matt Hughes socked him down along with John LaFleur, the defensive tackle, as he tried over left guard. Keepers line up in the eye as they attack the south goal with the wind in the first quarter. Handoff goes to Hamner, and they just, they had no intention of going for the end zone, Eddie. They just wanted to put the ball in the middle of the field and kick a field goal. John LaFleur on the tackle. Five and a half minutes to go as we approach that point. Field goal for Minnesota. The spot will be at the 19, so call it a 29-yard field goal attempt. Here's the snap, the spot, the kick, and it is no good. He line-drived it wide left, hooked it wide left, and what a stand by that defense. Boy, take your hats off, fans, even if you've got stocking caps on. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Breeze Motors in Monticello and Anamosa. Happy Thanksgiving, and thanks for listening. Your season? This is Iowa Hawkeye football on Mix 96 and a half. Back at Kinnick Stadium with Eddie Podolak, Gary Dolphin on our Hawkeye Radio Network. And that was a good job that was planned to go outside. Michael Berger went outside and threw the block that sprung him. Here's the delayed handoff to Banks again, and he threads his way up the middle and is dropped for little or no gain. In fact, might have lost a yard. Antoine will get a big play against them, but they'll come back with a good defensive play as they did in that circumstance there. Willock wide to the left, Gibson wide to the right. Here comes uh, on the option Randy Reiners, and he takes a big shot as he tried to turn it inside the tight end, and he was hit and knocked down hard. Passing situation for the Hawks. 
Berger the fullback and Banks the tailback. Knippers at tight end. Collins and Dwight are the wideouts. Reiner's back to pass. Swings the screen out to Banks. Tavian gets a block. Turns the corner at the 40, 45, 50. Look out. 45, 40. First and 10, Iowa at the Minnesota 37-yard line. No flags on the play. We do have an injured Hawkeye down, however. It is one of the linemen. Tyrone Carter ran all the way across the field. Five seconds on the snap clock. They've got to hurry. Out of the eye, first and ten. They spot the ball at the Minnesota 38. Tyne straight up the gut for three or four inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. Defensive end white to the short side of the field or out to the right. Knipper shifts from left to right. Ball on the far side hash on second down and six. Tyne counters back to the left side after he tried the right side and got two or three more. He's Jimmy Dwight out to the left, out of the eye. With Bowlers the fullback and Rob Tyne the tail. The give us to Rob Tyne and boy, he ran right into a Minnesota defender. Ball at the 34-yard line. Too long to try a field goal into the wind. 2-2 Atwell is back deep. He's a dangerous punt returner. Here comes Baker's kick over Atwell's head. And it goes out of bounds inside the 10. Ah, it comes back inbounds. Never did get out of bounds. Great. The crowd is heating things up right now on a 35-degree afternoon. Sauter, a three-step drop, swings the pass out to Atwell. He's got it at the 15, has the first down as he claws his way up to the 20-yard line, and Plez Atkins is there to bring him down. But first final feed of Iowa corn. He'll be brought down in the third quarter. All right. We'll talk about that hog more. Here's Hamner, the tailback, sweeping the left side. Gets the corner turn and gains. That is to the right. That's Haas, the tight end. They fake on the run that way. Sauter, no, they give it to the fullback, I beg your pardon. Thought Sauter was bootlegging out, but they give a quick hitter to Hamner right up the middle and in Hamilton, Ohio with 613 yards and a 4.2 average. Here he comes again, trying the right side and nothing doing this time. The Hawkeyes pinch things down inside and Aaron Klein, who is for 36 yards. Minnesota has just 19 yards in total offense, but the Gophers have the ball on the move as we start the second quarter. Sauter straight back to pass, swings it to the near sideline, has the tight end Haas. That play has worked against Iowa on more than one time, uh, more than one occasion this year, and Haas brings it up to the 50-yard line. He just dra uh, dragged across the middle of the field. to go in and get in the way of the cover man. First and 10, Minnesota at the Iowa 48 after a big gain. Here's the draw handoff to Hamner, and he's inside the 45 down to the Iowa 43. The line of scrimmage was the 48. That's a gain of five. Kerry Cooks and Eddie Gibson on the tackle. Line. Atwell splits wide to the right, Leverson to the left. Out of the eye, here's the handoff to Hamner. He tries the right side, big hole through right tackle, and Hamner's loose. Look out, he's at the 20, he's at the 15, 10, 5, and touchdown! Minnesota, but there's a flag way back upfield. Hold the phone. And that, you know, Jared DeVries is back here camped around that flag, and I think he thinks that he was held, and it's coming back. And Glenn Mason is a picture of dejection on the Minnesota sideline, but he's not arguing the call. That would have been a 47-yard touchdown run for Thomas Hamner. Ends up being a 9-yard penalty, but you could add 47 on the touchdown run. Hamner dropped in the backfield by a blitzing Raj Clark, and he continues to play impressively against the run. That was a real basis third down and 18 from its own 44-yard line. Back to pass, Sauter. Here comes a big rush by DeVries, and it's picked off. Sauter dumped it right into the arms of Jason House, the defensive end from City High, and the Iowa defense has done it again, turned it over, and Minnesota now will trudge its defense onto the field. The Hawkeyes have first and 10 at the Golden Gopher 33. I'll tell you, you cannot play better defense than that. Jason House, red screen, and as the pressure came to the quarterback, he stayed right there, received the ball. Of Jason House, who picked off the screen, pass but I'll tell you what Jared DeVries should get an assist on that intercept out of the offset eye the Hawkeyes have Berger and Banks in the backfield Reiners wants to throw goes up the left side has a man open caught at the four yard line it'll be first and goal Damon Gibson on the reception but for the first time in a while Randy Reiners hit the bullseye I'm going to tell you Randy Reiners is going to be a great passer for the Hawkeyes and this experience he's getting this year is invaluable that will be a Terrific one-two punch regardless of who's starting. The Hawks have it first and goal. Let's see if there's a killer instinct out there this time. Berger pushes the pile forward to the two or three yard line. That'll be a gain of one, perhaps two. It's about failing to finish a drive off inside the red zone. Field goal or otherwise. Banks tries the left side and he's gonna be wrestled down for no gain. No gain as he ran over left guard and Park Williams, that middle linebacker who's been all over the field here in the first half on the tackle. The second guys go with a full house, Berger and Polio 
down in a three-point in front of Banks. And Tavian tries the left side, and he doesn't get in. He may have gotten a yard. They're down to the one-yard line. But enters this afternoon. Split backs. One tight end, Knipper to the left side. Reiners backs up. He wants to pass. Lobs it to the end zone. Has to right. Caught. Touchdown, Iowa. A little square out. Dwight, one-on-one -on -one coverage with Jimmy Wyrick, the cornerback. He's going to win that one every time. That was perfect execution by both Randy Reiners and Tim Dwight. Tim Dwight came inside, set up like he was going to run the post, and then squared out, as you said. And it was pretty good coverage, though. Reiners had to lost the ball over a cornerback's head did lay it right on his fingertips. Here comes the try for point after by Zach Brummert. And you can count it. Iowa 10, Minnesota nothing. 11.08 to play first half. Let's take a break. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield Sports. Oh, come on. Will they give it a rest? Call back or he would have set several NCAA records in that game. As it was, he had 360 yards of all-purpose uh, offense and this is going to be Carter at the five, uh, 15 yard line squirts through a hole as he found a seam brought it across the 30 to the 31 and Jeff McCracken cracked him down here's and Hughes is moving better all the time he stayed in there at linebacker yeah, he's getting it loose goose handoff goes to the second man through that's Byron Evans the man who was penciled in as the starting tailback today he runs for 2200 yards Timmy Dwight continues to mount the numbers Jared DeVries has wrestled to the ground. The pass is incomplete near the Iowa sideline as Sauter went back. Look at Jared DeVries grab his helmet. He can't. Stations provider for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Offset eye. Sauter changes up the play. Atwell splits wide to the right and Leverson to the left. And Corey straight back to pass. Looking up the middle of the field. Now he's going to cover up and run. He crosses the 35 to the 38-yard line. He needed to get to the 42 for a first down in Minnesota. Parked back at the Hawkeye 30-yard line. Snap is perfect. Here comes the kick into the wind. They angle away from Dwight naturally. No, Dwight got it. He crossed, crisscrossed with Collins and caught the punt at the 33-yard line and brought it up to the 38 where he's tripped up by Sean Huffman and Luke Broughton. Couple to go. 10 to nothing as the Hawks have the ball. First and 10 at their own 37-yard line. Pro set backfield and Reiners, a deep drop. Wants to pass on first down. Swings it out to the sideline. Has Knipper. The tight end up at the 45-yard line. A gain of eight. He's knocked off his feet by Sean Huffman, the linebacker. A little down and out by Chris Knipper. And boy, we haven't seen that play in a while. By a bad hamstring. We'll have an Ohio State-Michigan update for you in a minute. Second down and short. Knipper in motion. Runs to the right side. That's where they block. That's where they want to run. Tavian Banks has the first down. As he scoots up to the 48-yard line, he needed two and got three. Michael Berger with a key kickout block, and that should be enough for a Hawkeye first down. Hawks at the 48-yard line of Iowa. Reiners out of a pro set formation. Back to pass, flushed out of the pocket. Flags fly as he runs to his right. He's at the 45 of Minnesota, out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That would be close to another first down, but we think it's going to come back. Yeah, that's going to be holders and 10 at the Minnesota 40. Have it first, first and 28 back at their own 30-yard line. So that was a huge walk-off on that holding penalty. Here's Banks on the give, and there's nothing on the left side as Park Williams, the middle linebacker, shot through that right side of the Minnesota defensive line and just collided head-on with Banks in the backfield. The second and 30 at its own 28 after the timeout. Dwight goes in motion. Reiners fakes the draw, back to pass. A lot of room, a lot of time, I should say. Now he's going to run with it. He's being chased from behind, from the side. He's at midfield. Look out. 45-40. He's almost down to the 38-35 yard line. First 10 10 Iowa on a play that Minnesota had well covered. Great job of scrambling. And I mean, after he got in the secondary, a great job of broken field running. He broke two tackles, cut back, picked up a block, 34 yards for Randy Reiner. Reiner's down inside the Minnesota 40 at the 39. What's ironic about that play is Minnesota had the pass coverage to perfection. Here's a pitch to Banks. Turns the corner on the left side. He's at the 35. Cuts back inside 30-yard line, and he's wrestled down after a gain of nine. Heck of an effort by Tavian on that lug. Tyrone Carter on the uh, stop. The strong safety has a basket full of tackles already. And a dive on that last one. And the Hawks, staring at second and 30 a minute ago, have second and one at the Minnesota 30. And Reiner straight ahead for the first down. Sun. You've heard from a couple of them already. Offset eye come the Hawkeyes. Tavian Banks on first and ten. Over right tackle gets two or three. Hawks go into the grind it out mold. 
And Tavian gets down to maybe the 23, 22 yard line of the Gophers. Line up on the left. Jed Dole and Knipper in there in a tight end, twin tight end formation. Now Dole goes in motion. Robbie Tyne is the lone running back. They fake on the give to Tyne. Here comes the reverse to Dwight, but there's nobody there to block for him. And Minnesota was ready for that play, Eddie. It's just like they knew it. It's like they were in the Iowa huddle. Lamanzer Williams, the defensive end, was a task, at least on that occasion. So the loss is back to the 31-yard line. That's a loss of 9, 32-yard line for Tim Dwight. Here's the snap. Faked on the give to Banks. And here comes Williams. Forces Reiners out of the pocket. Randy swings it out to Banks at the 20-yard line. He's knocked down there. He'll be about five yards shy of the first down. How Randy Reiners avoided Lamanzer Williams that time, I'll never know. Dillon got about 10 on the pass play to Banks. The ball at the Minnesota 21. Iowa will go for it. Fourth down and six. Hawks need to get to the 15. Reiners, short three-step drop, running out to his right. He's sacked by Williams, who ran him down from behind. And Lamanzer Williams has his 16th sack of the year. That leads the Big Ten. And Minnesota will take over first and 10. Let's point this Iowa offense. That's a good point. Iowa's defense has been in control, though. Back to pass on first down is Sauter. He runs out of a sack attempt by DeVries. Here comes the flag, and that no doubt will be a hold on Minnesota. Sauter <laughs> does get back to the line of scrimmage, but Jarrett DeVries and uh, Tim Saha are padding for more profitable beans. Ball just outside the 10-yard line for the Gophers. Iowa leading 10-0. Here comes DeVries firing across the line of scrimmage when the lines were just settling down. So let's see if DeVries was drawn offside. I think the right tackle did move. He did. That was Saha again. You don't think he's thinking about Jared DeVries. Three for the Gophers at their own six-yard line. Offset eye. Receivers are right and left. Here comes Hamner. Thomas Hamner. He runs right into Jason House. What a great job by House. Playing off the block that time of Ben Hamilton, the, the center. And House had contained. Raj Clark came up with uh, run support help. And Jason House is playing a whale of a foot. Iowa 10 and Minnesota nothing. We're going to go down to Ron Gunder after this play. Here's Sauter handing off to Hammer. He runs to the left side. This time, oh. Kramer drops the ball. Iowa has it. Kramer, I think it was Jeff Kramer or Eric Thigpen jarred the ball loose. Thigpen got on it. Thigpen got on the football. He gets the recovery. Iowa has it. First and goal at the Minnesota 9. It might have been Raj Clark who jarred it loose. I'm not sure. But Eric Thigpen got the recovery. And I think it was Raj Clark who reached in with the left hand and knocked it loose. The problem with all these timeouts, when the ball turns over, you want it and you want to get started. Iowa plus nine in the uh, turnover department this year with two big turnovers today. The intercept by House and now the fumble recovery by Thigpen. And the Hawkeyes run right up the middle with fullback Berger for here. Knipper goes in motion. Dwight splits out wide left. Out of the eye come the Hawks. The give us to Banks. He tries the left side, now comes back to the right. Great stutter step move, 5-3, two-yard line, and bumped out of bounds there as a terrific change of motion, as only Tavian Banks can do. The play was designed to go left, and he cut it on a dime and came back to the short side of the field. Navy leads Kent 48-9 in the third. Third down and goal for the Hawks and Reiners. Play action fake on the give to Banks. Wide open in the end zone. Chris Knipper caught. Touchdown, Iowa. To the tight end, no less. Boy, is that great to see. What a great fake by Randy Reiners. And he sold the play, the running play, and that's very effective in that situation. And then Knipper faked like he was going to block and then slipped out into the right flat wide open. Just released into the right corner. And Randy Reiners, did you see him? He, he was so excited when he saw Knipper wide open. He just kind of short-armed the pass. He couldn't wait to get rid of it. And then tried to beat the ball over there to, uh, to congratulate Knipper. Yeah, they bear hug Chris. That's got to feel good for Knipper. That may be his first touchdown catch of the year. The point after try by Bromert is right through Iowa 17, Minnesota nothing. Two minutes to go for, for Ohio State in the fourth quarter. Elsewhere in the conference, Purdue 21, Indiana 7, that in the third quarter. And it's Michigan State 10 and Illinois 7. They are in the second. Boston College has beaten the Army 24-20. And another final, Central Florida 34, Toledo 17. Tennessee leads Kentucky 38-21. They're in the third quarter. Can't down. Or it would have gone for a lot more. The Sun trying to come out here in Iowa City. Souter back to pass. Boy, DeVries is held and he still gets the sack. 
DeVries almost wrestled to the ground, and he's still got the sack as he poured through. But oh, there's a fumble recovery. Apparently, Sauter had the ball jarred loose by Thigpen. And Kramer's got it. Jeff Kramer, who had a fumble recovery at Michigan, comes up with it again. Boy, there was a delayed call. Well, you know, the ball came out underneath the quarterback. I'm not sick loose. And the recovery by Kramer, first and 10. Iowa with the Minnesota 38. Reiners wants it all on first and 10. Pumps one way, now rolls out to his right. Still looking, goes to the end zone. He's got Dwight wide open. Caught, touchdown! Oh, he dropped, dropped it. it. I'm sorry. Oh, Timmy. Timmy was backpedaling, got a little off balance. He was wide open. And Randy put it right up in his face mask, and he just couldn't quite bring it down and in. Tim Dwight, no doubt, said, I'm sorry, QB. Don't forget about me. Because that was six. Reiners now is going to be caught. Nope, they got the snap off in time as he changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Goes up the far sideline, and the pass goes through the arms of the intended receiver, Tony Collins, down near the goal line. I think, Ron, uh, it's probably a combination of the two. We'll talk about more in a minute. Iowa faces third down and 10 with a minute 30 to go in the first half, and flags fly as the ball is... Hawkeyes have third and 15 after the illegal motion call. Reiner's back pedals. Here comes Williams again, and he's going to have his second sack of the day. Lemenzer Williams. Boy, he ran right by Pryor. It's tough to fault Pryor because he's uh, in there for the injured Chad time. 55 seconds to go in the first half, so the Hawks will punt it away after the sack and the loss of five or six yards makes it fourth and 21. Here comes the boot by Baker, and it's taken by Atwell at the 20. Runs out of a couple of tacklers. Look out, Katie. He's at the 40, 45-yard line, and finally knocked down there by Ryan Lofton and Richard Carter. That's why 2-2 Atwell is leading the Big Ten, and he's right up uh, near the top in the country in terms of football game. As it is, it's 17-0 Hawkeyes with a little under a minute to play in the first half. And here's Hamner running to the left side, and he's dropped immediately as he approached the line of scrimmage by Matt Hughes, boys are great. I'll never try to sell you components you don't need. Now that's heaven. Computer heaven. Next to Best Buy at 155 Collins Road in Cedar Rapids. This is Iowa Hawkeye football on Mix 96 and a half. The other defensive lineman, but he's so quick off the ball, and Minnesota just going to let the clock run out. That will conclude the first half of play. Impressive for the Iowa Hawkeyes on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Iowa has converted two Minnesota turnovers into touchdown halftime. Eddie Podolak and yours truly, Gary Dauphin, will be back with a first half recap. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield Sports. Stay tuned for the Hawkeye Network. Half Trying to win the ball game. Okay, thanks, Coach. There it is, Hayden Fry, the Hawkeye coach, as I run to get out of the way of the Hawkeyes. Coming back on the field. There they are, down on the field there, Bob. I think one of the most uh, significant stats right here, we've already talked about it a little bit, Iowa's possessed the football 21 minutes to 9 minutes for Minnesota. Yes, that has been uh, bulk. And in the Class 3A championship in the first quarter, Harlan leads Decorah 7 to nothing. Last night, Ankeny knocked off Iowa City High 17-14 to win the 4A title. Iowa kicks off to start the second half. It's 2-2 at well at the 15. 20-25, approaches the 30-yard line, and he's hemmed in, swarmed under, and gang tackled by the Hawkeyes there. Back, Hamner is the lone setback. And the Gophers go with three wideouts. Souter rainbows up the far sideline looking for Atwell. Has him. He's at midfield and bumped out of bounds in Iowa territory at the 43-yard line. So the Gophers open it up to start the second half. Well, you know, play. first and 10, and all of a sudden, the Gophers are in Iowa territory at the 43-yard line. Here's a sweep to the right side, and Matt Hughes beautifully strung the play out. One tough Texan. They only give Hamner a yard. It's second down and nine. Sauter, three-step drop, picked off. Intercepted by Kramer. 40-45 and wrestled down at the 48 from behind. Iowa is his business again. Jeff Kramer on the pick. And the tight end, Troy Doerr, Troy Doerr, uh, wrestled Kramer down from behind. Otherwise, he'd have been in Minnesota territory. Might still be going. Boy, of our defensive ends giving us a great year. You are not kidding there. At that time, Kramer reads pass. He's up on the line of scrimmage of 1997 and the Hawks are back in business when Minnesota had a drive going to begin the second half one minute gone in the third quarter Iowa 17 Minnesota nothing and Reiners wants to pass on first down comes over the middle has his man he overled and he still caught it Gibson on the grab at the 48 yard line of Minnesota it only goes as a five yard gain would have went for a lot more had Randy been a little bit more accurate on that throw they finally get him separated 
That would have been too bad if Baylor had to play the rest of the game with that Hawkeye helmet stuck in his cage, wouldn't it? All right, we're set to go after a gain of five. Second down and five. The give us to Banks. He sweeps the short side of the field. Tried to turn it upfield and couldn't. Good job by Minnesota's Tyrone Carter. The line of scrimmage, the ball is at the Minnesota 46. Third down and four for the Hawks. Trying to cash in after an intercept. Reiners bullets a pass to the tight end, Jed Dahl. He's got the first down inside the Minnesota 40. At the 37-yard line, Jimmy Wyrick, the cornerback, knocked Dahl down, but just a... Right to left pattern run by Dahl over the middle of the field, and Reiners has put more and more zip on that ball today. Just shy of the Minnesota 36 yard line, Iowa leading 17 to nothing. Two minutes into the third quarter. Give to the second man through. That's Robbie Time looking for a block. Can't get it, though. He had McKinney out in front of him. Check that Reichel out in front of him, and Carter ran right through the block and dropped 41 to 7 in the third quarter. Looks like the old Oaken Bucket will be in West Lafayette after today. Hawkeyes have second down and 11. Reiners is being pressured heavily. Now he runs to the near side of the field and throws it up the field. Out of bounds intended for Damon Gibson. Porter, that game doesn't even kick off. Well, maybe it's kicked off now. Yeah, the game has just started, so we were given a wrong score there, and we apologize to all the Badger listeners. All right, Reiners drops back one to get a screen, gets a pass out to Tide, who ran right out of a tackle. He's at the 30. He's going to be short of the first down by about three yards. But what an effort by Rob Tyne. Looked to be dropped in the backfield for a two- or three-yard loss on that screen play. He caught the ball, and some guy had him wrapped up. He finally was hauled down by Weirich. But there's Robbie Tyne again, seven-yard line, and will go for it. Gibson splits wide to the left and Dwight to the right. Out of the eye come the Hawkeyes. Berger and Tyne in the backfield. Knipper the tight end. Reiners, quick hitter to Berber, Berger, the fullback, and he is going to be stopped short of the first down. And, of course, that's a play that worked so successfully last year, uh, last week. But over on downs after the intercept by Jeff Kramer, Iowa goes back on defense, and they give it to Hamner, who sweeps the short side, the right side of the field, and he turns it upfield, gets about five yards. There wasn't much running room over there, and only Hamner's from a leader. Amico, Corey Souter at quarterback. Hands off to Hamner, who runs to the left side this time, the wide side of the field, and he's run down from behind by Raj Clark as he approaches the first down marker. A backup tight end. He's the lone wideout. They have two tight ends at the line of scrimmage as they go third and short, and Souter on the keeper pushes the pile for a yard and gets the first down. The interior of that Iowa defensive line. But you know what? Let's find out who's giving us these scores. <laughs> I want him dangling out of the press box. <laughs> We're having a tough time with that. By his shoestring here <laughs> in the next uh, five minutes. We're having a tough time with that Penn State-Wisconsin score today. Here's Hamner on a first down play, first and ten, and he runs over right guard for three or four. Jason House and Kerry Cooks sandwich him in. State has turned the ball over twice. It's Wisconsin three, Penn State nothing in the first quarter. So the Badgers have taken advantage of at least one of those turnovers and have kicked a field goal. We're going to get a call from Barry Alfred. Now, is that multiple choice? Over to the right. That's Greg Nelson in the slot. Atwell wide to the right. Iowa's done a good job. Here comes DeVries on the rush. Oh, and he's just blocked partially out of the play. The pass is almost picked off by Eric Thigpen. Correction, Jason House almost had his second pick of the day. If he was a high jumper, he'd have had that one. Hard line, Ryan Arundels gets the snap. Here comes the kick. Good rush put on by the Hawkeyes, but he got it away. It's taken by Collins. Tony at his own 18. Up the far sideline. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. One man to beat. Gone. Touchdown, Iowa. No flag. Oh, there is a flag. I was about to say no flags, but there are two flags at midfield. Thrown on the near sideline. Not even anywhere yeah. near the play. It's on Rob Tyne was, was bouncing along with, uh, let me see, I think it was number 50. Hunt coverage team. So it turns out to be a, uh, a return from the 18 up to the 30, uh, 38. About a 20-yard return net for the Hawkeyes. Rob Tyne gets the call, and he gets nothing, maybe a yard. Crowd just kind of stunned that that punt return was called back for a touchdown. Here comes a blitz. Running away from it is Randy Reiners. He's going to keep the football and tries to get back to the line of scrimmage as he ran to the right side, and Hoffman, the linebacker, chased him down from behind. He was the guy blitzing right up the middle, and a good year when he is the featured punt returner after Tim Dwight graduates, and Hawkeye fans are going to love Tony Collins. They do already. 
Straight back to pass on third and long is Reiners. Plenty of protection over the middle. He comes right to left to Dwight. Tim's going to be close to the first down as he's knocked down immediately by the cornerback, Wyrick. As he turned to go upfield, he crossed the 13-yard line. Jason Baker's kick will come from about the 35 of Iowa. And it's a line drive kick. A floater that's picked off by Atwell, and he tries to return it. Brings it back upfield five, six, seven yards. Dropped at the 28 of Minnesota. 36-yard punt for Baker. Rich and Supply, Norwich Bank, Iowa, NA, member FDIC. We have a new quarterback in the lineup for Minnesota. It's Billy Cockrum. Billy Cockrum, the new quarterback, 6-1 to 12. Great play by Aaron Klein, the Hawkeye nose guard. Here's Cockrum back to pass. He's being rushed pretty hard. LaFleur almost had him. Now Raj Clark zeroes in on him. Jason House gets a piece of him. And Cockrum goes down under a barrage of Hawkeye tacklers for little or no gain. It'll be third down. Jer Minnesota then accepted the Iowa penalty. So that was the explanation. Okay. Cockrum back to pass. Heavy rush. He gets rid of the pass just over the outstretched arms of 2-2 two -two Atwell. And boy, was John LaFleur going to tattoo those sleeves up. Ryan Rindles will punt from his own 15-yard line. Hawks said, oh, they run the fake. Here comes a throw off the sideline, and it is picked off. Deflected and picked off by the Hawkeyes. Now, I was looking for a flag for, de for, for face de guarding, yeah. but I didn't see it. The Hawks have picked it off. I think, was it, um, in fact, I think it hit centers right as Eddie said in the helmet or the back and yeah. deflected right to Collins so the Hawks get a big break after the interception Reiners pumps fake short goes long into the end zone for Dwight and Eddie over let it oh that looks like a penalty down there to me I think they just even things up oh. second down 10 at the Minnesota 35 after the Tony Collins intercept of the deflected uh, fake punt pass here's Robbie Tyne on the draw and he gets a couple inside the 35 to the 33 where Crawford Jordan, the free safety, popped him good. He's on nine carries. The yardage has been tough, tough sledding for the uh, Iowa City sophomore. Reiners changes the play up. Hawks shift from the eye to the pro set. So with split backs, receivers right and left. Reiners on play action. Back to pass. He's going to be rushed and ripped Almost had his helmet ripped off by Manser Williams, the defensive end. As it is, he's dropped in the backfield. That'll... And the Hawkeyes pick off the deflected pass. Iowa goes nowhere and must punt it away from midfield. Baker angles for the far sideline, the far corner. Looks pretty good from here. It goes out of bounds inside the 20 at about the 10. So Jason Baker going for that with 17, Minnesota nothing. And the new quarterback, Cochran, changes the play. Here's the counter and the handoff to Hamner. And the tailback brings it across the 15, a gain of five. It'll be second down. Be Souter. Anthony Heron is in at a defensive end for Iowa right now. Here's the give to Hamner as he sweeps the right side. And, ha and Heron ran right through the offensive tackle and the tight end and swatted Hamner to the ground. Uh, they, it was a Matt Sherman was telling me yesterday in our visit with him that he just as quick. Third down and four. Actually, uh, Hamner lost about all the criticism he's uh, come under for his play on and on the field this year, and I think he'll enjoy. Here comes a blitz on third down. Oh. Long, and Jason House had it in his mitts and couldn't quite come up with it at the two-yard line. The five-yard walk-off put the ball back near the seven or eight-yard line, and as Cochran backed up, he was trying to set up a screen end zone had he caught that ball because he was that close to the goal line. All right, the Hawks are going to rush everybody. Here comes a snap. Pretty good rush. Well, one of the Iowa... Uh, Rushman got tackled. No flag. Dwight has it at the 45. Comes to the near sideline. 35-30. Up the middle. He's at the 25-20. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Touchdown, Iowa! <laughs> That's the Big Ten oh, record. That's it. That's that a does Big Ten record. Oh, my goodness. El Nino in a football jersey. You will not see a greater punt return than that one right there, ladies and gentlemen. The way he started through the middle, then ran through two tackles and back into the end zone. He shredded tacklers all the way from the 45-yard line of Minnesota up the middle and listen to the crowd. What a great thing to remember Timmy Dwight by for all these great fans here at the University of Iowa. They come along once in a lifetime. Timmy Dwight's come along once in a lifetime. He is something else. Well, I tell you, if ever a guy leaves you speechless, it's Timmy Dwight. 
Timeout on the field. The point after is good by Brummard. Iowa 24, Minnesota nothing. You're listening to Hawkeye football. Send savings to warm your budget. Excellent quality, super prices, a multitude of colors and styles. Winter yardage leader in the Big Ten. He now has 1,086 return yards, which breaks uh, Brian Musso's record at Northwestern because Northwestern doesn't play again. Here comes the kickoff, and it's Carter. He slides up the right side and crosses the 30 to the 32-yard line. About a 30-yard return, Tariq Holman. Penn State leads Wisconsin 7-3 in the first quarter. Back to pass is Cockrum on first and 10, and he's going to be dropped by LaFleur. Matt Hughes got a piece of him. And let's see, we got a new linebacker in there, Joe. Minnesota has second down and six as we start the fourth quarter from Kinnick Stadium. And carries 72 punt returns. That's 25 less than the previous leader, Brian Musso of Northwestern, just to illustrate that further. Cochran with a quick drop and throws it at the feet right. of Eddie. And his vision and the way he runs strong inside and the way he can run it sideways, sideways and then cut a field. All attributes that not many people have at once anyway. Here comes a big rush on third down and long. And it's a pass completion to Hamner. And he's going to be just shy of the first down. He crosses the 40 to the 41-yard line. And Rod Face, you can bet Klein, LaFleur, and DeVries are going to come charging up the field. And they run play action. Cockerham running out to his right, looking for a receiver. Has nobody open now. Throws it up the field. And it is caught or not caught. No, it's out of bounds. Incomplete. It's out of bounds. And we've got a holding penalty back here. Right in front. Getting good protection all day for Randy Reiners. Are back in business again offensively. First and 10 at the Minnesota 42. Robbie Tyne tries the left side and dives forward for three or four here in Iowa City. More blue skies showing than not right now. Hawkeyes have a second down and six at the Minnesota 38-yard line. Split backfield. Back to pass is Reiners. Good protection. Looking over the middle of the field. Now swings it out to the right. Overshot Tim Dwight. One headset on, but he's working with the coaches upstairs, so he's not hurt. They just uh, changed quarterback. All right, going with the youngster. Reiner's back to pass on third down. Sets up the screen, and it's deflected away. Deflected away by Lamenzer Williams. He will try and pooch kick it to the coffin corner in the person of Jason Baker. Good snap by Ryan McCormick. Here comes the kick, and this one will reach the end zone. So it's a touchback. Iowa leads 24-0 over Minnesota. You're listening to Hawkeye Super Value, Super One, Randall's, or Cup Food Stores. Souter is back in at quarterback for Minnesota. Nobody's open downfield. Now he dumps it out to his tight end, and it comes up to the 25-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. Boy, Jared DeVries, an old double trouble. Epinesa, Epinesa was right in his jersey that time. A ten they've used today. Haas, their, uh, or, yeah, Haas, their regular tight end, limped off earlier in the third quarter. Here's a handoff to Thomas Hamner, and he tries to run over left guard. There isn't coming in. All right, with that big bonfire going. Third down and four. Souter. Three-step drop. Rainbows up the near sideline. Going for Atwell. And a beautiful pass in Atwell with a catch in Iowa territory near the 45-yard line. What a great throw. 12.49 to go in the ball game. The clock was stopped after Atwell ran out of bounds. Souter throws to the other side. Atwell had already turned upfield, was running up the... Had he been able to get to that ball, he could have walked 60 yards to the end zone. Here's the handoff to Hamner, who tries the right side, and he gets two or three to the Iowa 40. Looks like they will, 24 to nothing in the fourth quarter. The Hawkeyes will definitely be going somewhere. Souter back to pass, and here's a quick square into Atwell, and he catches it inside the 40. At the well, the Hawkeye defense punched Minnesota in the nose once in the second half when they went for it on fourth down and a yard. Minnesota goes for it again and Sauter. Iowa Hawkeye football on Mix 96 and a half. Minnesota on fourth down and less than a yard. Gives it to Hamner who tried to run to the right side. A blitzing Raj Clark ran right into the play and convert a fourth down today when the Hawkeyes jump offside. First and ten out of the offset eye. Play action. Sauter back to pass. Throws it down upfield near the 20-yard line but it was too low. Intended for 2-2 Atwell who ran it down and out just a and Minnesota nothing. Now bright sunshine that Corey Souter's staring into. Gives to Hamner. He runs right into Clark and DeVries, among others, and gains little or nothing. Meskwaki Bing Sun Bowl because they know this team could have easily been 9-2. and two. Here's the handoff to Hamner on third down and long, and he's going to get nothing as he tries the right side. Two Hawkeyes just stand him up and hold him there until the whistle blows. Jason House led the way. The Gophers roll the dice again and go for it on fourth down. 
They're one for two this afternoon. Souter straight back. Here comes a big rush. And he runs away from it. Jared DeVries. And Epinesa Epinesa had him dead to rights and let him get away. Souter still running over the far sideline. Finally rolled out of bounds at the 25. But he'll be well short of the first down. He was just running for his life. A great sponsor of Iowa football. First and ten, Randy Reiners rolls out to his left for the Hawkeyes. Throws it upfield over the head of Tim Dwight. Boy, he had Dwight in a precarious position way stretched out there, and he took a big shot from Craig's pen at their own 26. Receivers on both sides of Randy Reiners. Knipper the tight end, and the Hawks are in the eye. Here's a handoff to Tyne. He comes back from right to left and gets up to the... I start thinking about the postseason game. This is just like movie theater popcorn up here. It's so good. In motion comes Tim Dwight on third down, a passing situation, third and six. Randy with plenty of protection. Reiner's looking, looking, looking. Now he's going to be sacked. There's just nobody open. That's a coverage sack. And defensive end Raymond Baylor puts sack because, as Eddie said, Reiner's had a birthday standing back there. He either should have thrown it out of bounds or thrown it into the ground or run with it. But nonetheless, it does go as a sack. Here's the punt. Atwell has it at his own 32. Starts from right to left, heads to the far side of the field. Looking for a wall of blockers. Anthony Heron finally forces him out of bounds near the 40-yard line. Minnesota had 12 men on the field. Oh, so when I got home, I set them on the counter, and my dog ate all of them <laughs> before I could chow into the rest of them. He, he did, had no idea how, how far I brought those kolaches for him. That's a great recommendation for Stikora's kol kolaches. <laughs> all right, thanks to Karen Stang and the kolaches. For the Hawkeyes, they get the ball back after that unsportsmanlike call against Minnesota. It's a 15-yard penalty. So yeah, from Lansing, Illinois, is our new quarterback, Ed Podolak. We liked him at Wisconsin a couple of weeks ago. This afternoon, we'll talk with injured quarterback Matt Sherman about uh, this season and what it has meant to him. Here's Mullen rolling out to his left and a nice pass on the run to Dwight. Timmy crosses midfield. He's out of bounds at the 44 of Minnesota, where he was crunched by cornerback Craig Scrub. There are three kids from Minnesota on the Iowa roster. No Iowa kids on the Minnesota roster. Handoff goes to Robbie Tyne. Big hole over the right side, and he cartwheels across the 40 down to the 38-yard line, where that will be an Iowa first down after a gain of five. And Washington leads Washington State 14-7 to in the second period. Of course, those games have Rose Bowl ramifications, and uh, one of those teams would play, either USC or Washington State would play Michigan in the Rose Bowl. Here's Robbie Tyne, loose and running for good yardage again on the left side, inside the 30 to the 29-yard line, and we get a little uh, the starting quarterback job. Should be some spring with Mullen and Reiners uh, going after each other. Robbie Tyne, no hole as he tries the right side, and he'll be stopped, actually lost a yard. So the Hawkeye, now a late flag comes in as 10 at the Minnesota 15. Tight end Wheatley goes from left to right in motion. Out of the eye. They give to the fullback. Big hole for Trevor Boulders, and he's got five or six. Right up the gut inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Carter had a leg for Tim Dwight. Second down and four. The ball at the 9 of Minnesota. As time is winding down in this one, Boulders again gets the uh, nod, and he's straight up the middle for three more to the 6-yard line, where he's knocked off the cart by Raymond Baylor. It'll be third. Box need about a yard and a half for a first down. Wheatley goes in motion again out of the eye. The tailback is Doug Miller. The fullback is Trevor Boulders. And Doug Miller tries the left side. He's got, no, wait a minute. It's a quarterback keeper by Mullen. He bootlegs around the left end. He's into the end zone for the touchdown, Iowa. No flags. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Whoa, the old fake job on me. The nifty job of ball handling there. I guess. That, you know, that's the freshman quarterback, Scott Mullen. Wow. Well, I mean, Scott Mullen is quite an athlete. I've seen him play in the Hawk hitters on Friday afternoon. He's 6'5", 214 pounds. And, uh, you know, that's a, a pretty good-sized fellow, you know, for playing for actually 6'6". Six, six. And uh, we're going to have quite a battle here next year. Really are. Hayden loves that big, lanky kid from Lansing, Illinois. Norton Fractional High School. Roberts try for point after is right through, and the Hawkeyes have a 31 to nothing lead with four minutes, 10 seconds to play in the regular season. You're listening to Hawkeye football. Barbecue, let's crawl over there and throw down a few earthworms. What if the frogs decide to go? Good. I do not want to see them. Louis, yeah. Louis, the 31 nothing as Iowa gets set to kick off. Here's Ron Gunder on the Hawkeye sideline. 
I've got an exclusive interview here now with Floyd Rosedale. Floyd, how do you like staying in Iowa City for five straight years? Really? Have they fed you well, Floyd? Are you happy? Are you happy to be in Iowa City? There you have it, an exclusive interview with Floyd of Rosedale. I think uh, Roy Firestone would be envious. <laughs> oh, one-on-one, -on -one, Ron Gunder and Floyd of Rosedale. All right, here's the kick, and Atwell is dumped as he tried to rush upfield with the football. Skip Miller, who's a great athlete downfield, a <laughs> tight end to the right for Minnesota on first and 10 at the Gopher 13. And up the gut <laughs> comes a tailback, and get a name on him. I think we got a brand new tailback in there. Jared DeVries plays at the 25 yard line. A gain of 12. Uh, the line of scrimmage originally the 13. So Corey Souter still at quarterback. Swings a pass out to Atwell across the 30 up the left sideline. That'll be a gain of five or six years. Those two guys have had. DeVries only a junior of course. Will be back unless he opts for the NFL early. Souter throws it long up the far up the near sideline intended for 2-2 Atwell, well overthrown, out of bounds. Buzz Atkins, Heron, Corey Byrne, Skip Miller, and Corey Brown all in that Iowa lineup, uh, new defense, running over right guard today and will become, or is now, the Big Ten's all-time punt return leader in yardage. Low line drive kick into the next county, away from Tim Dwight, out of bounds. And this crowd of 64, 65,000 is given the hoot to Ringles, the Minnesota four quarterbacks have played for the Hawkeyes, all but Matt Sherman today, who is injured and would have been able to play next week, he said, had this game been a week down the road. Doug Miller runs straight over right guard for four or five. Iowa Hawkeye football is sponsored by the Iowa Connecticut. Yes, it does. If you've been enjoying the game, Mark, that's what I want to know. Well, you know, Betsy the Burrow and I, we come in from Colorado every year. Uh, Betsy, Betsy's out there with a the bale of hay out there <laughs> behind the press box right now. <laughs> well, Muck, it's just good to see you here in Iowa City again, and thanks for coming on with us. All we right, appreciate it. All right, big shoe, buckaroo <laughs> you. Oh. And by the way, up out by Eddie Podolak's uh, area, out there near Aspen. He's going to ride Betsy back to Colorado, he said. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Corey Howes is in a quarterback, swings a pass up the near sideline, running room for Doug Miller. He crosses midfield. He's got the Hawkeye first down at the Minnesota 40-yard line. Iowa will have it just 28 seconds left to go in the ball game. And <laughs> <laughs> Muck is he's been around a long time, you know. All right, Iowa first and 10 at the Gopher 39. Pitch goes to Miller. Sweeps the right side, has bowlers out in front of him. Gets a block, now a flag flies. Down to the 20, 31-yard line goes Miller. Season and the Hawks are trying to get a playoff, and you cannot. But if they're not going to get it off, Hauser wanted to play one more play, not going to get it done. There it is. The regular season is over. The Hawkeyes have shut out Minnesota 31 to nothing. And along the Hawkeye Network, we want to remind you this is break 17 along the Hawkeye Network. Break 17 coming up. 31 nothing. the Hawkeyes win. Don't go away. Eddie and I will recap it in a minute. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield Sports. Weasels. I'm telling you, if they do show up, I will not be held responsible for my actions. Oh, stop it. I will throw them on the grill myself. They taste like chicken, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Ugly chicken. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. What is it that makes Pioneer Hybrid different from other seed companies? It's what we call the total package. It's research delivering one-of-a-kind genetics proven to yield. It's a responsible approach to technology, bringing you the traits you want with the yield you need. It's production committed to quality, purity, and reliable supply. It's agronomists and salespeople helping you get the most from every seed. Higher returns from every acre. Pioneer. It is technology that yields. Off and Ed Podolak back at Kinnick Stadium where the fans have crowded onto the field to not only pat the players on the back and the helmet, but they're also uh, touching Floyd. They're, they're patting Floyd. They're curling his tail down there. Of course, if you've joined us late, you really missed it. Ron Gunder had an exclusive interview with Floyd of Rosedale about him staying in Iowa, and he couldn't be a happier pig. Let me I'm going to tell you, Floyd of Rosedale is very heavy also. I had the, the uh, chance to carry him off of the field in Minnesota when we went up and beat Minnesota my senior year. 
And I was glad when a lot of those big blue does, as I call the linemen, came along to help me carry that thing off the field. 31 to nothing. The Hawkeyes win it. And Eddie, you got to talk about Tim Dwight. Hunt returned for a touchdown today. It was 17 to nothing at halftime. Dwight electrified the crowd. It wasn't a long punt return, 45 yards, but the way he did it, the way he got into the end zone to make it 24 nothing was memory making. Well, I, it was one of the most exciting plays of a very exciting season for Tim Dwight. And I can't say enough about the ability that this young man has. And that'll be something that'll stick in our minds, that last play, that last front return. He did come in and catch one more pass to break the Iowa record for receiving after that. He got a mitt full of records today. Iowa wins it over Minnesota, 31 to nothing. You're listening to Hawkeye Football. When construction machinery breaks down, time is money. If it's a hydraulic hose or a conveyor belting problem, you can get it fixed fast at Apache Hose and Belting in Cedar Rapids. Apache has the Midwest's most complete stock. 